to uplift the economy. After the Second World War, when Britain was flattened as a result of, um, the, of the, what happened is, historically, they needed to bring these migrants in from the Commonwealth countries to build up the infrastructure. Otherwise, the country was in tatters. Like everything you're telling me is nothing that I'm... Yeah. I, I, anything I say to that is um, there's too many. So what we would say... Yeah. yeah. See, their counter-argument with, with respect is that Britain has historically it's taken a lot from those countries. You know, all the resources that we have over here. The brick, bricks, for example, the same thing, salt, all the commodities, unfortunately, they looted in many countries, they bought it all back. Are you, uh, that's, a, that's a fact, you see. social media spreading this horrible fucking The whole idea You know, there's, there's bad people in every community. Yes, yes. You know, obviously there's people that have, uh, you know, rapists, like this in every community. Also, the thing I would say is um, that not to suspect yeah. they're not letting all these people in, but they're not building new schools, new hospitals. Which they should, I totally agree with you. I mean, just for example, gentlemen, this is not a criticism, please don't think so. You're drinking alcohol currently. Now, did you know, as a, no, as a result of alcohol consumption, there is much more of a burden on the NHS. Billions of pounds a year. Oh, yes, check it out. Billions of pounds a year. But that's what are, we do. That's yeah, but, what we've done for ages. No, but what I'm saying to you, no, because these gentlemen were making mention of the fact that the burden on the end, he was making mention about the hospitals. Right, okay. So I was saying that as a result of alcohol induced incidents which occur. You guys have no burden on this, so you boys integrate well. Like, no, no, I'm just trying to make a point about. It's, see, some, see, let me just, see, the, see the Hindus, see the, see the Sri Lankans, we all get on well. Yeah. You, the Islamic, what you're, uh, this is what it is, but you, you're trying to change Britain to something that you've left to come and change this where you've left. Right, and, so let me, I'm just trying to explain right, that. So, you, and, and with the British patriotic flag, and we've invaded, we've done this, and we're arseholes, and now it's the fault of the British. What about the Spanish? What about the Portuguese? What about the uh, Ottomans? What about the Italians? What about the Germans? And they all got up to, I agree with what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, no, but you can't be patriotic unless you're English. If you're English, you're a racist. You know what I mean? And that's why I don't agree with that nonsense. Because what I was just trying to tell our friend about this alcohol consumption. This is London, mate. No, but listen to what my argument is. See if it makes sense. If it don't make sense, disagree oh, yeah, with me. Yeah. But what I'm saying now, you're gonna I mean, just say for example, you go home, an incident yeah. occurs What's as the a age result. Of consent in Islam? Age of consent varies depending on where you are. It varies, yeah. yeah. Let me look. So even over here in the UK, did you know King? Do you know? Yeah, do you know King really Richard II? What's the age of consent? Let me just. What's the age of consent? A puberty. When the when What's the, the age of puberty? What, yeah. Twelve. When the, well, Science. did you know? Let, let me explain to you. Let's let's According to the New Testament, Jesus he married his father Joseph. Ma who was 90, married... I'm not talking about some man in the sky, I'm talking about real living. I've yeah. got a six-year-old girl, I'm talking about real life. Yeah. So, I don't care who's in the sky, I don't care who you believe in, I don't care who I believe in. What I'm saying is, I would never go near a 12-year-old girl. Yes. Never, because that's wrong. Because just let me... Okay, now, okay, no, you think that's right? No, I don't Let's think that's go. right. Now, hang on a second. Gentlemen, let me make my point. You're just running... Away. Just remember. See, you know, historically, Life expectancy was very short in the UK going back just a few generations ago. Did you know King Richard II, our royalty, our nobility period of the realm, what was he all about? He married a, a six-year-old girl called Isabella, the Queen of France. Yes, go and check it. What, hundreds yeah. and hundreds? Isa Isabella, King Richard ago, II. How many years ago was that? That's about six centuries ago. Yeah. A six-year-old girl? Yes, go and check it out. He married a six-year-old girl. <laughs> That's is that you know in the United States you know in the United States you know in the United States a girl could get married in the state of Delaware up until 1962 at the age of seven. Check that if, if you think I'm speaking all, a lot no, of no, pony. We know, yeah. we know, okay. You know. No, but what I want you. They're gonna edit yeah. these videos. They're gonna make you get up. No, we're not gonna edit anything. Richard, let's go. Yeah. So unfortunately, with our friends over here. In, inside, they're not bad people. I don't believe. No, what, they're not. They're not bad. bad. They're not bad people. Not bad like, yeah. Let me just. The king, the let me just finish my. No, 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 I, I, I need to make a conclusion. We have to stop the conversation by labelling you far right, far left, blah blah blah. Sometimes it's not that. You can have the same. Two things can be true at one time. You can be concerned about this, that, and the other. But you can also, if you want to live in this country, I have no problem. I don't want to stand in front of the camera. You, I'm happy for you to live in this country. Blah blah blah. Like you, I would treat you as family. If you live next door to me, yeah. I would treat you as anything else. Yes, that's absolutely fine. But yeah. we are allowed to have our concerns without being labelled far right. Fair enough. I, I agree with what you're saying. To be honest, that's my personal opinion. However, I'm just making mention to your friends about alcohol. 
consumption. Yeah. We were making mention about yeah, how this. No, let, let me just make my point. No, no, just hear me out. You haven't even given me an opportunity to expand my point. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm going to say. I'm done. Okay, I'm so done. you were here because I was about to make a, a point. You jumped in, realizing I was saying that you're not bad people. I didn't know you were listening onto that. We're not bad people. So, but I'm, I'm we're giving people. Ex so exactly. People, but we're not allowed to express our concerns, and that's you should be allowed to. I agree. You should be allowed yeah, to, but, but not but, at the but behest. How do we do that? Then? So how do you do that? Excellent point. We, for example, I was telling your friends, if you are of a and certain, why we're here. That's why we're in yeah. So if you're of a certain, you share much in common with us more than you realize. I know it's, that. it's people on the far yeah, left not, who are propagators of LGBTQ, feminism and atheism, these are the people who are really your enemies. Because we share, even if you are, just say even if you are far right, I've got no problem with the far right. I'm not far right. It, not, if you are, I'm not saying you are, I didn't I'm say, not, I, but if you are far right, intrinsically the far right, they hold onto the authority of the father within the home. That's what Islam invokes as well. Anyway, there's a problem with the problem with drunkenness. This is the issue they have. You see. Let's just live together. But, uh, yeah, yeah, but I want you to. Yeah. Let's keep this country yeah, how it is. Definitely. Let's not be called far right for expressing our concerns. And let's live I agree. Together. I told you I agree with what you're saying because we've got we've got a lot. In I was just about to expound the point. If you'd listened, maybe you'd have thought, you know what, this guy's got a point. Like I, I said to you, I just give me two seconds. Friends at Amazon, and yeah. I get that. I get All right, my friend, but I just but, want to make a quick point. Just let me make my point. We've been promoting something that we're not standing for, so that's what I'm saying. So what, what exactly what do we say you don't what, what agree you with? What want in life? Like, this is not an Islamic country. No, but what exactly, for example... What do you want? No, for example... No, I'll give you an example what of what I want. want so so we want peace. So every, no, hang on, everyone wants peace. Hang on, so you're running... Yeah, so the peace is attained. I was about to give an example of alcohol consumption. Fuck now, alcohol. So you don't... So you don't That's want, no, what I'm, right, so in terms of alcohol consumption. Yeah, so we could go tip the tat, you could say something in my But you don't even let me finish, I can't even make my, let me make my point. Let me make my point. Remember, we had a nice conversation. Yeah, so, alcohol, alcohol, alcohol's no good, but I can stand here and But do we know what destruction that causes the NHS? Billions of pounds a year are wasted on the NHS as a result of alcohol-induced crap. So why are we, yes, okay, excellent. So as we agree, and you've been noble enough to agree on that, Point. Yeah. So hence we should have a commonality that if alcohol is causing so much um, social incohesion, surely that's something that one should desist from then. Yeah, but I also agree that every person on this planet should have their own decisions to live. I agree and, with that, yeah. And consequences. Right? Yeah. If someone wants to go and drink alcohol, yeah. then they live by their consequences. Yes, but at the same time, it's putting a burden on the state, on the National Health Service, which you are very eager to maintain. Billions of pounds yeah, a year. Yeah, but, yeah, but the, the problem is the NHS is finished. Like from, from when I was, well, it would be, I'm, I'm 28 years old, yeah. The, the NHS difference from when I was younger to when I am now is finished. So there's no point trying to say that to say that you're trying to save the NHS. No, but the what NHS I'm saying, is gone. but hang on a second, like one a second. One of the main complaints of the NHS. Okay, uh, I think there is a way to repair it. If you give me two moments. What, now, no, no, hang on. See, let me finish my point. That's not a respectful answer, is it? Let me tell you the way to repair it. Just say those billions of pounds which are wasted as a result of alcohol-induced issues that occur, if people desist from alcohol, and let me finish, they, they, get, they, they don't get drunk, that will save billions on the NHS, which will go into more hospitals. So you're agreeing then? Oh yeah, we do agree. But yeah. the problem is, do you trust the government that we live under? I don't trust them, no. Exactly. So if, if they find a way to save money here, do you think they're going to go, oh yeah, oh no, what? We've got all this money left over, so we'll pump it into that. Fair enough, but the point still... Fair enough, but the point still remains that if, for example... Yeah, my problem is with the government. It's not with... This, and this is what I'm trying to say. I'm not you know far Muslims? right you know because Muslims? I love anyone. Really? I love anyone that abides by the country that we live in. Yeah, we do have some. Yeah, cool. That's, that's what I mean. I've got no problem with you. I've got a problem with the government that are trying to fob everything off because of this, because of that. See, we, ju we just agree to the fact that even if we stop... The like branding alcohol, blah blah blah. We'd have millions for the NHS. Billions. We, I guarantee, none of us believe that the government would reinvest that into the NHS. And this is and this is what I'm saying. Like we need to come together to say we're being wrong done by the people in charge. You can't argue with that. I agree with that. Yeah. You can't argue with that. Okay, nice speaking to you. All the best to you. Thank you. So. That's all right. Sorry, we're just going to make a finish. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, right. it's all right. We just want, yeah. So, yeah. I think I've seen you guys outside the 
Westfields over in Shepherd's Bush. Yeah, not us particularly, but people who may be affiliated with us. Same thing, suffering. So let me tell you what's going on here, brothers, essentially speaking. Having had a reasonable conversation with this person, we agree on a lot of things. However, what he, does, what he wants to actually say is that we're not happy with immigration. Now, if they're not happy with the immigration, intrinsically they're not happy with people of different colours and different trends coming through. If they're unhappy with illegal immigrants who are what you call criminals, then yes, they've got a very valid point. But intrinsically, they're simply not happy with immigrants coming in. The very, the very people who have built up the structure of this country when it, when it, when it was um, under bombardment from the, uh, uh, from, the, from the German Second World War, it needed to rebuild its empire, or rather its country. And so therefore, they got people from the Commonwealth countries like the Asian subcontinent, like the Caribbean and the Africans, they brought them over here to rebuild the task, working in factories, in the underground, doing all the menial jobs that the indigenous Englishmen didn't want to do. So that's why they were, gave them these jobs, getting paid tuppence for doing, for working there, for working there. For, yeah. So these were obviously wars which were created by, obviously, the British to a large extent. They created a lot of this. That's, they're, not, they're not the only ones. Like one of the guys said earlier, the other European countries did like, like for example, Portugal or, or Spain or the other um, European colonial powers. So what we, what, we essentially, what we essentially observe is within the preamble of this particular understanding is the intrinsic dislike of people of different backgrounds. Now, if they're saying illegal immigration is no as a result of criminal illegal immigration, then hey, we're in agreement with them. But, but at the same time, I, I think it's more than that. It's just simply, if, a, if an immigrant comes up, he's willing to work hard, do those menial tasks that they're not prepared to do, and the average person is not prepared to do, then there's no issue with immigration. Let, let all illegal immigrants come in. One day, one us upon the time we were immigrants. So, you know what I mean? Just to, to say all of a sudden, oh, we shouldn't allow immigrants to come in and people of colour should go around saying this as well. That's nonsensical. It makes it makes you sound like a complete uh, buffoon. So, in essence, what we're observing is that this is the thinking process of a lot of people. They're not all bad, they're not all like thinking negatively, but at the same time, there is that element of the stiff upper lip or the stiff um, toffee nose like that, thinking we're superior. And that is what it's really genuinely all about. So, they're not happy with us propelling um, um, such uh, discussions, such as in inviting people to Islam as well, because they're seeing people accepting of their own volition, of their own, of their own decree. You know, no one's been forced to accept Islam. We've got brothers here from different backgrounds who have come into Islam. We've, we've saw Ryan, we've seen other brothers here, Yusuf, we've seen Hamza, we've seen other brothers who accept Islam. So this is what we're inviting people to do. And they just don't like it, to be honest. They don't want their people coming to Islam when they're choosing to do so. This is the sad oxymoron of it all. And this is an attempt by Israel as well to really use people like Tommy Robinson to stop the um, truth of the Zionist movement coming out of what they perpetuated and what they've done in, in Palestine, in Gaza over man, many decades. And now they're trying to cause this friction. Tommy Robinson is in fact their super agent. He's off to Israel. He always takes their uh, advice what to do. He's the one who creates the anarchy so that the public opinion, which is firmly shifted against Israel, if they shift the, um, the issue to immigration, then they can have another enemy to uh, counter, as opposed to looking at the brutal acts that Israel is doing. So this is a master plan in themselves, but it's doomed to failure, inshallah ta'ala. May dua for everyone. May sorry for us here in London, in the relative easy comfort of doing dawah with the brothers and sisters who are dying in Palestine today, who've got no food, no water, no shelter. Everything is collapsing around them. You know, they are the ones who are truly suffering. We are just doing this minimal works as just a source of, you know, may Allah accept, but at the same time, they are the true heroes of Islam. May Allah guide us all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Any question you got? Do you want to take these, brothers? Inshallah.